friends, I am back and I'm going to show you a real easy way to make your own flavored creamers. With this video, I'm just going to make hazelnut flavored creamer. And I use, you know, you can buy the uh, store-bought um, sweetened condensed milk, but uh, this is my homemade. And there is a video on my homemade. Now my jar that I'm pouring this into has, you know, measuring spots for one, for cups. So I'm going to use one cup of this. I'm going to use one cup of that. Let's see where we're at. We're at about a, we're at about a half cup. Got to put a little more in there. This is a little thicker because I've had it in the fridge. There we go. We got a good cup in there. Then we are going to fill the rest of the way with our half and half. Okay. You can use regular milk too, you don't have to use half and half. Now I'm going to put two tablespoons. This is syrup. If you use, this is syrup. This is um, hazelnut syrup. So if you use syrup, you only want to use a couple tablespoons. If you're going to use extract, you're going to use even less. So, but I'm using syrup, so I'm going to do two tablespoons of syrup in there. Now you can certainly add a little bit of vanilla, but to this, I'm not going to. I just want hazel. So now we got that. Now we're just going to shake the tar out of this. Shake the tar right out of it. I might have to reach in there with this, my spatula because it's. I'm going to have to because it's really thick from being in my fridge. So I'm going to take my little one. I'm just going to mix it around. There's froth in there. That certainly won't hurt anything and that'll settle down. Okay, see it mixing up in there? This is wonderful stuff. And this will save you a load of money on creamer, especially if you get a lot of coffee drinkers in the family. There we go. We're getting it. And like I said, that froth on the top, that will go down. All right, we're going to shake this a little more now that we got that. There we go. Okay. That's the hardest part, shaking it up. Shake it really good. See that? It's all good. Now, I think we got it. All right, we shook the crap out of it. So now I save these. Every now and then I'll buy, you know, if it's on sale and cheap, buy one, get one free, whatever. I'll buy the creamer, whatever flavor it is, doesn't matter. And I save it because I like the pour spout for my homemade. So with that, I just take like so. And I just start dumping it. And there you are. See how nice that fits? One quart jar. You can tell I've done that before. <laughs> One quart jar will fit in there beautifully. And then you have your little pour spout. Then you can pour it. And it's nice, beautiful. You can label it, put it in your fridge. It'll store for up to about two weeks in your fridge. You don't want to go much farther than that. And there you have it. It'll save you a little bit of money, and it's wonderful. You can use it with vanilla. You can make just about anything, any flavor you want. And if you want other flavors, uh, other recipes for flavors, you can get them on my website. So, there you have it. And enjoy your coffee, and thanks for watching. 
friends, we have got somebody to try this. We got a guinea pig. All right. Is that about enough creamer for you? I think oh. so. We can I drink add. it like Dad does. So. Look at how beautiful and rich that looks. Ooh. Okay. You can't see her, but you'll hear her. It's very smooth. Mmm, yum. All smooth, right. Smooth, rich, a little bit of hazelnut. See, I got yeah, it's good. Now, if you want it stronger, they can uh, you can put more hazelnut in it, but that's good. All right.